Sabres? Uh, it's Wednesday. They're all out playing golf. Wednesday? Golf? Doctors? Get it? <laughs> it's uh, my little attempt at humor. Boy, that was some bad joke, lady. Oh, you again. Go away, kid. You bother me. Yeah. Hey, listen. Why is your hair so wet? There's no way I could keep it down. Oh, what? you two at it again. Oh, hi, Doc. What can I do for you? Candy, flowers, whoopee cushion? Blades. Mm, blades. Blades. <clears throat> oh, butterfingers. Oh, there you go. Came by to tell you your examination's all set. Whose examination? Uh... What examination? Look, Mom, if I'd waited for you to make the appointment, you would have never gotten around to it. Billy says you've been having nausea and stomach pains for a couple of months. Billy's got a big mouth. <laughs> He's also probably doing you a big favor. We've got you scheduled to see Trapper today at 2 o'clock. Today? What about the shop? Don't worry about the shop. That's right. And while you're seeing Trapper, I'll be keeping his kitty ears out of trouble. I'll tell you what, I gotta shave, but if you save me a seat at the snack bar, I'll buy you a soda. You're on. This is crazy. You're gonna feel real stupid when they find out it's just gas. Yeah. See you later. Later yourself, traitor. This is emergency. The hub? The center, the nucleus, where it all begins. Now here we have examining rooms. One, two, three, and of course, four. He's up to his fours now. Mm, getting better. Now over here we have the nurse's station. And a doctor, and a nurse, a clipboard, and a pencil. Dr. Riverside. Yes? Aren't all staff members supposed to have their names clearly tagged over their left shirt pocket? Good point. Jackson, where's your name tag? Name tag. See that it doesn't happen again? That new guy. Yeah, I can't quite put my finger on it, but he, he's awfully familiar. Mm. While you're assigned to emergency, you'll be in my charge. Here it comes. Speech to the troops. <laughs> now, I can be a reasonable guy. But mess with me and I can be a pretty tough cookie. So keep your nose to the grindstone. Do your job. We'll get along. Morning, Stanley. Good morning, doctor. Doctor? Don't tell me that grizzly bohemian is a member of our staff. That is Dr. Gates. You'll be meeting him later. I certainly hope not. He's hardly the sort with whom one would care to keep company. I think I just figured it out. Oh, me too. You know what we've got on our hands? Mm-hmm. Another Stanley, Stanley Riverside. Riverside. Notice this dark mass at the top of the picture. Yeah, I noticed. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't. Could be a tumor. Tumor isn't cancer? Whatever it is, it's operable. You're not answering the question, Trapper. We're talking about cancer, aren't we? Well, I can tell you more after we do the uh, little old exploratory laparotomy. Laparotomy, huh? If memory serves me right, that is done with a rather sharp knife in a rather cold operating room. <laughs> no, it's a straightforward piece of surgery. If it's benign, we can relax. Malignant, we... Take it out and cure it. Can you believe my luck these last couple of years? I should have known all those fluorocarbons in my hairspray, the preservatives in my jam. I mean, you live the wild life, something's bound to catch up with you sometime. I mean, 300 rats can't be wrong. <laughs> Time is on our 
outside. <laughs> Tell him got makeup all of your white coat. Well, gives the coat character, does wonders for my reputation. Shall I tell Billy? Hurt to hurt. It isn't Billy anymore. It's Bill. Oh. He's such a young man now. He takes care of me. What is he, 14? At 14 going on 40. You wouldn't believe that kid. He's just at that age, you know, sullen and moody one minute and uh, just a charmer the next. He's outside. Shall I bring him in? Storm in, will you? I'd like to give the illusion that I'm taking this well. Uh, you got it. nothing, right? Come on, Trapper. I'm not a little kid anymore. I can take it. The uh, x-rays show a mass. A tumor. So we'll have to operate. Go in and uh, see what it's all about. How's she taking it? Fine. <sighs> no, she's not. Mom likes to pretend she's stronger than she is. Come on in. Well, look at it this way. Would you rather be pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, I, I want you to check into the hospital tomorrow at 9 a.m. so that we can begin your preliminary tests. Tomorrow? I can't do it tomorrow. I've got too many things I've got to do. Mom, don't worry about it. I'll handle things. I'll make sure the house is kept clean. I'll bring you the mail. I'll even check up on the gift shop. See, he's taking care of everything. No, he hasn't. Where are you going to stay? At home. At home? Alone? No, you're not. Mom, you keep telling me I'm not a kid anymore. He can stay with me. Oh, no way, Casanova. Don't think I don't know what goes on in the Titanic. All right, then he can stay with Trevor. Me? Well, sure, it's perfect. He's got an extra room and everything, and that way you'll know that Billy's in good hands. Well, the last thing you need is a kid around your neck. No, it'll be fun, right, Trapper? Uh, yeah, sure. Fun. Then we accept. Thanks. <sighs> Don't I have anything to say about this? Don't you think you've said enough? It was your bright idea to get me here in the first place. Okay, Bill. Starting tomorrow, you are my star boarder. And I'll see you in the morning, Elaine. Well, kid, here's another fine mess you've gotten me into. Thanks a lot. X-ray technician on call. Please call the emergency room. X-ray technician, call the emergency room. Symptoms? Shortness of breath and wheezing. Mm -hmm. Probably an acute asthmatic attack. Get some blood gas. Doctor? Yes, um, Addison Wesley Holmes, the third. Holmes? The third. We had a case just like this while studying at the Sorbonne. That's Paris, you know. There we treated it with high dosage corticosteroids. Well, we're not at the Sorbonne, Doctor. We start with the simplest methods. See who play. First, we'll give him some adrenaline. Take him to room one, please. Start an IV immediately. Right away, sir. That new Dr. Holmes. You familiar to you, Dr. Riverside? I don't know, but there's something I don't like about that guy. gut werden. Entschuldige bitte, dass ich dich damit behelfe. Na, ist doch alles okay. Hab keine Angst. Wie du dich versiehst, hast du alles überstanden. 
hier. Ach, tut mir leid, Kleiner. Hey, you know what? There's a Marx Brothers movie on tonight. I could go downstairs, bring us back a couple malts, and we could watch the movie together. What do you say? Oh, no, Dr. McIntyre's expecting you at his place. Besides, I've been told to get a good night's sleep. Mm, right, sleep. Plenty of sleep. Mm -hmm. You got a full day ahead of you tomorrow. Uh, you need anything? Some water. Oh, I could get you a nurse. Will you light somewhere? I'll be fine. Sure you will. You'll be out of here before you know it. You think so, huh? Sure. You too tough to hold down. I, mean, I guess you're gonna have to be strong for both of us. It's all right, Mom. Don't worry about a thing. I'll be right beside you. Don't worry about a thing. No, 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 no. Come on. I, I was looking forward to tonight, too. I... No, it's just that something came up and... Uh... Come on, of course not. Well, if you must know, it's a 14-year-old boy. Hello? <laughs> well, that was quick. Oh, not much to unpack. Hey, what's this? You weren't supposed to go to any trouble. And besides, I'm not hungry. Oh, yeah? Well, you will be. Wait till you see what I've cooked. Gee, I thought all you'd have was TV dinners and frozen pizzas. You know how you bachelors are. Oh, you male chauvinist. Monsieur, I would have you know that you are looking at a culinary wizard. Uh-huh. You called to apologize? Uh, <coughs> no, no, this, uh, <laughs> this is Dr. McIntyre. Um... No, 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 no. You, you'd better wait, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Sorry, Bill. Hospital? Yeah, and uh, I'm afraid I'm going to be kind of late. Uh, don't worry. I can take care of myself. Listen, uh, you like anchovies? Sure. Great. Because the Caesar salad is in the fridge. Uh -huh. The Rakonish game hen is there before you. Yeah. There are some string beans, brown rice with pine nuts and mushrooms on top of the stove. Enjoy. Thanks, Doc. Or you can help yourself to my collection of TV dinners. <laughs> It was my fault, Doc. I wasn't paying any attention. It's pretty potent stuff you got there. Yeah. Pure grain alcohol. It's a bad year. Uh, the guy in the lab gave it to me for a science project at school. Well, I guess we better get you some more. Uh, no. Uh, it's okay. Um, uh, my mom is waiting for me, and I better get going. I'll come back later. Dr. Olin. Box seats, third row, center court. What? No flowers? No, that's gratitude for you. Where's Billy? Uh, he's upstairs studying. Fix yourself a drink. You should be proud of me, Trapper. Those tickets weren't easy to come by. You wouldn't have believed what that scalper put me through. It was horrible. Meeting in dark alleys, sleazy hotels. Had to fight her every inch of the way. Well, I guess those assertiveness classes paid off, huh? This, uh, this all the vodka? I hate to finish the last of it. I mean, last, it was full Sunday. See what happens when you drink alone? The mind goes. <laughs> anyway, maybe it was the gin. I don't know. Too bad. Another promising career. Shot to hell. Look, uh, see what's keeping Bill. Will you while I get changed? Good idea.
chemistry, huh? Tough stuff. Uh, you're telling me. You all right? Mm, fine. Just sleepy as all. You sure? I said it was okay. Hey, you need a break. Get your jacket. We're going to a game. And the Warriors? Box seats. Uh, uh, listen, Doc. Uh, can I take a rain check? I got finals tomorrow, uh, student council and basketball practice. All that, huh? Mm -hmm. How do you find time for your science project? Science project? Mm -hmm. The one needing all the alcohol from the lab? How's it coming? Fine. It's coming along fine. What kind of science project is it? What difference does it make? It's no big deal, okay? Look, Billy, you're going to think this sounds kind of wild, but uh, you've been experimenting with uh, Trapper's vodka? Experimenting? Like how? Like drinking it? Drinking, as in swallowing the stuff? Heck no. Haven't you heard? Liquor's bad for kids. Just curious. Maybe a trapper has a cleaning woman who nips. Maybe he does. What happened? About time. I just came in here to prep her for surgery, doctor, and oh, she... Right, yes, sir. I'm glad you came. I could have been bound and gagged by now. Elaine, you are scheduled for surgery this afternoon. Now, you should have been bound and gagged an hour ago. Trapper, maybe we're rushing into this thing a little too fast. But maybe we should take some more x-rays. Maybe that dark spot in the picture was something I ate that didn't agree with the film. Mm-hmm. And maybe the lady is afraid of surgery, hmm? <laughs> Afraid? Why well, stop with afraid when there's so many other words like uh, terrifying, <laughs> hysterical? Come on, Elaine, you can't bury your head in the sand. <sighs> Here comes the Elaine be a big girl speech. Could be. Doctors, you all sound the same. No wonder you and my husband were so close. Dick was relentlessly right all the time. A tower of strength. You're just like it. <laughs> I'd consider that a compliment. Listen, all I'm asking for is a stay of execution, a reprieve, till Bill gets here. I need him to be with me through this thing. Couldn't you humor me a little? I mean, how many times does a girl get a tumor? All right, all right. I guarantee you he will be with you before and after. But if it's all the same to you, we'll do the surgery without Billy, okay? You're the doctor. Medicine wasn't my first choice. You see, when I graduated from school, I excelled in so many things that I didn't quite know what to do. I presume you ruled out missionary work. You see, Father first bought me an art gallery, and then I tried raising thoroughbred horses. Such filthy animals. Thoroughbred horses? No, the artists. 
start if you could see the look in their eyes, the eagerness in their faces, the way those young interns look to me for, well, call it what it is, inspiration. <laughs> Makes me shudder. Funny, I was just thinking the same thing. <sighs> Wait a minute. Isn't that Elaine's kid? Sure it is. He looks sick. He looks drunk. I'll handle this. Billy. Hey, Doc. Uh, how's my mom? Have you seen my mom? Sixth floor nursing supervisor. Please call your office. This is important. So is this. It's Billy. He's drunker than a skunk. Oh, no. Um, I'm sorry, Ingrid. I'll call you back. Right. Did you say drunk? A stinking drunk. He showed up about an hour ago on his way to Elaine's room. Where is he now? <sighs> Sleeping it off in the Titanic. Oh, boy. And she won't have any surgery until she sees him. Well, then you better postpone surgery. Yep. I guess I'll have to. I'll have to talk to that kid. That's all she needs right now. Dr. Holmes, he's parked in the emergency loading zone. I know. Fewer nicks that way. This area is clearly marked for emergency vehicles only, Doctor. Good man, this beauty is a $65,000 custom-made masterpiece. I don't care if $65,000. Yes. Father just bought it for me. So you can see I couldn't I possibly... I can see that it's blocking the emergency zone. Now move it. Dad never bought me a little beauty like that. Billy. Fine, fine. We uh, had a long talk. And? Well, he says it's the first time he ever tried anything like that, and judging by the way he felt, I think it'll be the last time. Trapper, I think the kid's uh, got a lot bigger problem than he's admitting. Which is? I don't think it was a one-time binge. I think Billy's been drinking for a while. You know something I don't? Well, I've been putting it together, and it all fits. You're missing vodka, the alcohol I caught him taking from the lab. He's moody, he's shaky. He comes staggering in here in a drunken stupor. You ask him about it, he doesn't know where he's been or how he got here. That is not good news. No. I think he's an alcoholic. He's professional help. We should get Elaine's permission to... No way. She can't handle that right now. You saw the way she leans on that kid. Exactly, and he cannot stand up under it. She's got to know. Now, if we tell her now, she'll never agree to surgery. So where does that leave us? Between the rock and the hard place. What? No kicking or screaming? You rat. What did you give me? I'm so damn relaxed, it's <laughs> disgusting. Tell Bill to get in here, will you? I think he got a late start, but I promise he'll be here as soon as you're out. Oh, great. Fine nursemaid you turned out to be. You can't even get my kid here on time. 
All right, come on, your fans are waiting. I can't. I don't know my lines. You're lucky you don't have a speaking part. <laughs> the gift shop's not been the same since Elaine's been gone. The candy's stale, the flowers wilted. Yeah, oh, clamp, please. The comic book selection's dwindling. You better get her back there soon. There it is. Okay. Mets and bombs? All right, Mary. Here's a specimen. Get a frozen section on that, will you, please? Let's hope the lab is having a benign day. Thank you, Gibby. Wir sehen uns morgen beim Basketball. Okay. Abgemacht. How are you going to tell the kid it was malignant? Well, I know that the surgery went well. It looks encouraging. I'm sure he can handle it. Excuse me, Avila? Yeah. Have you seen uh, Billy Tabor around here, Elaine Tabor's son? No, not yet. What a nice surprise. Miss Stevens? Who's your friend? Uh, Billy Tabor, Holly Stevens. How are you? You joining us, Billy? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, tell you what, why don't I show you two around, huh? Great. Uh, I better get going. Mom will be waking up. No, no, we got a couple of minutes. Come on. So, uh, did uh, Dr. Gates tell you why all these kids come here? Couldn't be for the floor show. <laughs> now, this is our adolescent care unit for alcoholics. All these kids here have a drinking problem. Too bad. Yeah, well, some kids have a uh, harder time coping with their problems than others. And some kids have bigger problems than others. But by the time we finally get them, their biggest problem is alcohol. So this place helps them with that. That and the original problem that started them drinking. This place gives me the creeps. Mom will be with them. Look, Billy, what we're trying to say is there's nothing wrong with asking for help. 
What do you mean? That I need help or something? Or some sort of drunk? You worried about your schoolwork? You worried about your mother? I can handle my mother. It's too much for a kid your age. I'm not a kid! And I don't need you spying and butting in on me. I can handle it, I tell ya. Leave me alone. Mm. Well, how do we do? Was I hit? Four curtain calls? Hmm. Good. How are the reviews? Sparkling. It was malignant, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Well, there's no need for alarm. It's out now. Of course, you will have to play the lady of leisure for a while, all around in your bed, and no heavy housework. Jack, will you get my son for me, please? Of course, my lady. Where's Billy? Isn't he in there? No, he's supposed to be with you. Well, he was on his way here about an hour ago. Oh, great. Now well, let's find him. Police is necessary, but find him. He's just a kid. Where'd you put Billy Tabor? the police just brought in. Oh, I sent him on down to the police station. You what? Well, he was drunk. All he needed to do was sleep it off. I saw no reason to waste a perfectly good hospital bed on a drunken delinquent. He's a 14-year-old kid. I don't care if he's four. Spots of a leopard don't change. Listen, buddy, I don't know how you got this far, but you're... Dr. Gates! Right, I'll handle this. Listen to me, Holmes. You've been skating on thin ice for some time now. You're arrogant, conceited, pompous, incompetent, totally lacking in compassion, motivated by nothing but your money-grubbing little greed. If you ever pull another stunt like that, I shall personally see to it that you never work in any hospital again. Not even as a candy striper. I'm looking for a 14-year-old boy. His name is Billy Tabor, and the police said they brought him here. Yeah, we're holding a 14-year-old male Caucasian. Oh, well, I'd like to get him out of here. Uh, my name's uh, Dr. Gates. I'm with San Francisco Memorial. I'd like to pick him up and take him back to the hospital. We can't release him 
Unless you're a relative. Look, his mother is ill. She can't come down here. You know what I think, buddy? I think these kids have it too easy. They get into a couple of scrapes and someone comes and bails them out right away. I think it'll do the kid good to stay locked up for a while. Scare him a little. All right, officer, I understand. Well, say, uh, you won't mind if I, if I bring a few of our doctors down here to, uh, to immunize everyone on your staff. Immunize? As in a shot? Oh, well, yeah, I hate to be an alarmist, but uh, the, the kid's been exposed to a very contagious viral hyponervosa. Uh, a shot? Well, it's probably nothing to worry about. I mean, the first one doesn't hurt. There's more than one? Well, sure, there's a series of three. Of course, you have to wait for the swelling to go down before you can administer another. Swelling? Mm-hmm. Uh, say, doctor, maybe I could release the kid tonight. As long as you're going to take him to the hospital. Well, I, I'd, I'd hate to do anything to get you in trouble. Just get the kid out of here. I'll take the responsibility. Sergeant, you're a brave man. Ah, oh, you're up. I'm up and angry. It's two days since surgery, and I still haven't seen that kid of mine. Phew. What did you do, Trapper? Lose him? Elaine, uh, sit down. We, uh, we have to talk. You did lose him. <laughs> Didn't turn out to be much of a babysitter, did he? Um, Billy's in the hospital. Hospital? Oh, this had better be a bad joke. It's no joke, Elaine. He's pretty sick. We put him in an adolescent care unit for... Alcoholism? Alcoholism? He's just a kid. He's a kid with a very serious drinking problem. Oh, come on. He's 14. What did you do, Trapper? Did you let him get into your booze? I mean, come on. If a kid takes one drink... It's more than just one drink, Elena. It's more than just... I don't believe you. I don't believe any of this. Have you talked to Billy lately? Haven't you realized what he's up against? Okay, I mean, the kid's been going through a rough time, but who didn't when they were growing up? I mean, I know this has not been easy for him, but, but Billy's not that kind of a kid. Elaine, After all, he's listen. got everything going for him. He's, he's good, he's smart, he's a popular kid, he's got girlfriends, school activities. Listen, when he gets back home and everything gets back to normal, well, come he's going to... stop it. The boy has a problem. I don't believe you. You are both lying. You try to understand. All I understand is you have got my kid in some crazy unit where he doesn't belong. All right. Get in. You decide where he belongs. Will he be there? Uh, three to five days. Give him a chance to get it all out of his system. Fourteen-year-old boy hooked on alcohol. And well, at this point, his uh, addiction is more psychological than physical. He'll get a lot of help, Elaine. He's going to be put into a recovery program with other kids. <laughs> recovery program? They have a recovery program for the parents? Oh, sure. They have programs designed to help you help each other. Yeah, I'm gonna die before 
Das war nur... Nach Dicks Tod hatte ich immer solche Angst. Dick hat immer auf mich aufgepasst. Er war mein Beschützer. Hat mich von allem Bösen ferngehalten. Du wusstest ja, wie er war, Trapp. Billy. Der wusste das auch. Er versuchte, das zu übernehmen. Mich zu beschützen wie sein Vater. Und Sie haben das zugelassen? Das war zu viel für ihn, Elaine. Ich weiß. Ich weiß. Er hat nie die Möglichkeit gehabt, ein Kind zu sein. What am I gonna do? Oh my God, how can I help him? Give him a chance. Let him lean on you a while. <laughs> You're saying you want me to grow up, right? Mm-hmm. Think you can handle it? Of course I can handle it. I gotta handle it. Huh. Well, what are we moping around here for? Don't you two have some other patients to look after? I mean, I would... I'd love to sit here and chat, fellas, but... Uh, I need my beauty rest. After all, I have to be strong for both of us, right? <laughs> the man I came to see. All right, that is it, Holmes. I have warned you no, and I... No, 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 no. Listen, I've come to thank you for what you said to me the other night. What? What did I say? Oh, that speech about dedication, principles, conscience. Ah, yes. You know, I started me to think. Uh-huh. I finally decided just how much I've been misdirecting my life. Really? Emphasizing all the wrong values, living by all the wrong standards. Dr. Riverside, mm -hmm. I've turned over a new leaf. Oh, good. And I want to thank you. Oh. Part of my job. No. I finally realized just what it is that's truly important in life. Uh -huh. Great cars. Great. Great cars? Cars. I've uh, taken over a foreign car dealership back east. My accountant says that within one year, I'll be able to diversify my assets into several lucrative franchises. Really? Thanks again, Doc. Uh-huh. Talk to these women, Trapper. I'll tell you what, I'll call Ingrid. No, thank you. You've done quite enough. We'll just have lunch, okay? Are uh, you buying? No, but I know who is. Afternoon, Stanley. Hey, Stanley. Would you like to join us for lunch? Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, could we take your car? I want to watch the pilot. Thank you. Stanley. 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 Stan